Welcome back to Let's Play The Foundation, the DLC chapter for Control. I'm Burning Dog Face. And, uh, we need to find the crossroads, wherever that is. I'm just gonna keep looking around. Last time we found a new mod, which is exciting, and a new type of hiss, which is even more exciting, even if they were weird melee dudes. Foundation accident. To H. Wilder from M. Talbot, subject con contractor issue. Mr. Wilder, I have some bad news. You remember that Robert Ricardo fellow we brought in as a special consultant to map the lower caves? Well, today he found a chamber with weird eyes covering every inch of the walls and a strange black pillar in the center. Kind of looks like the one at the crossroads, but similar. We had a bureau member shadowing him, but whatever happened in there did a number on our guest. The docs are taking a look, but it's pretty clear Mr. Adventure's exploring days are over. I know we were careful to limit this guy's exposure to the non-ordinary. Drugging him and carrying him through the upper floor was a real hoot, by the way. But we really need to re-evaluate our policies on external contractors. Honestly, we'd be better off forming a special division trained in repelling and orienteering than subjecting more outsiders to the shit we deal with. They almost always end up dead or loony. Marcus. Oh, poor Robert. I hope he found some peace. You know, given that that was like 50 years ago. This one's full of ham. That's weird. We also learned that all this sand is actually just particles of rust. Yeah, don't breathe that. Well, I'll be damned. The astral plane is cutting into our dimension. What if this happens in the upper floors? It'll destroy the Bureau. If the oldest house it really is Yggdrasil, the Earth can't survive it being destroyed. I'm just gonna throw that out there. They call it the World Tree, for God's sake. Who are these ninja guys? Oh! They're not dressed in black! those guys from the tutorials. Ow! You fucker. My organs. Damn, those guys hit like dump trucks when they're uh, level 7. Yeah, all the fun of playing chicken with a Mack truck when you're on roller skates. Oh, boy. Oh, God, I'm way down here. Oh, I see now! Oh, I'm starting to think that this was a, uh... Like an archaeological site, and this part of the world fell away, but... Eh, that could absolutely be just a safety net. Except that they don't have one on this side. I don't know. Oh, it's gonna spawn more dudes! This is where the sharpened appeared. I mean, granted, it's still a, a better melee attack than the, uh, the, the mold zombies vomiting on you. I mean, it's not a choice I would ever want to have to make, but when it came right down to it, I'm pretty sure I would rather, uh, get physically struck with a pickaxe than have someone vomit acid all over me. I can't imagine. 
imagine the circumstances in which that would... Can't tell if it's meant to be painted on or not. Yeah, this is really fucking bad. I mean, I already thought it was weird enough that the foundation exists beneath the, uh, the, you know, the quarry, even if it is a more or less stable place. power. Oh! Nice! They eat a dick. Oh no, he's back. Oh! No, you don't! Astral copy. Emily Pope, by order of me. Field research on astral entity, astral copy. Summary. With the astral plane now physically accessible, a torrent of new information has been collected on the entities known as astral copies. How? I haven't even told Emily that we found any of this shit yet. The, co uh, the copy's bodies are composed of a dense stone-like material that is both resilient under controlled circumstances and brittle when struck with significant force. See Report 8-11-1633 for full composition analysis. Whether the astral copies possess individual consciousness or are directed by a higher intelligence, such as the board, remains unknown. However, their shared aggression seems to indicate a unified goal. Director Faden's encounters with its entities when binding objects of power in the astral plane indicate they serve as live targets for potential para-utilitarians to practice on. Some have been equipped with bureau weaponry, though it seems unlikely they were armed by our personnel. It is important to note that they appear immune to his corruption. Refer to file redacted for full report. Personally, I don't think they're alive at all. I think they're more like golems. They're made of the pure stuff of the astral plane. Alright, you keep doing your thing over there, buddy. I'm just glad I finally got one of you guys on my side. What is that? It's just a fucking rock just floating there. Sure. Well, I guess those guys drain faster than usual. I think he dropped a, uh, a mod. He did! No, he dropped two mods. Evade ammo refund. I think that's another new one. And fucking seven. Ha! Would you look at that? Oh, look at that, it is new. Ammo recovery on evade use. Neat! What could possibly be causing this to happen? And would I understand the answer even if I had it? I wish I'd brought Emily with me. I could really use my head of research right about now. Oh. Oh. It was hard to tell. I thought I saw Polaris uh, shimmering when I did that. 
Looked up at that thing over there. I mean, I'm not even clear if you can go there. Cave bleed, I see. So I'm pointing directly at it. Eh, maybe, maybe. I can't get there from down here, though. That's for goddamn sure. The astral plane doesn't follow the laws of... Marshall? Marshall! You're alive! Yeah! Wait! It's Jesse! The director! Where the fuck did she go? Whoa. This place is huge. Marshall? Wow. Can you hear me? She was on the hotline, so that person couldn't have been Marshall, right? One problem at a time. We don't Let's know that. Let's with that pillar first. I didn't even... Investigate the nail? What the fuck does that mean? I guess that's a sort of pillar. It's kind of too wide for that, in my opinion. But whatever. I do find it interesting that with claim control points, she just kind of reaches out her hand. It's not even her dominant hand. But with uh, cleanse control points, she just drops down into a squat and uses both hands to shove energy into the ground. I do like that there's a difference between those. Details, man. That's what makes a story. Okay. Uh, 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 visitor's log. I wonder if that's September 2012 or just September 12th. Visitor Matthew Kroll, person visiting Dr. Klinkman. Visitor Richard Jennings, person visiting Nick Meadow. Interesting. Department of Parapsychology. Okay, they reused that. Ooh, audio. It's been five days since we first entered the building. Traversing the interior is dangerous due to the shifting, but we did manage to find a lower cavern that seems structurally predictable, which is a scientific way of saying its walls won't crush us in our sleep. Northmore even made a discovery, a pistol placed on a stone pedestal in front of that strange ebony pillar. Oh shit. Seems like something out of a storybook, except the heroes usually find swords, not handguns. But it is the perfect lure for someone like him. Hours after finding this weapon, Northmore cornered me to spout some nonsense about how the board had made him the director. He ran it about the title being meaningless before now calling father and all other previous directors shams, frauds, and worse. I think this place is worse for Northmore than it is for me. Strangest thing? There was no pedestal in front of that pillar a day ago. This building has swallowed a dozen of my men, and now it's handing out presents? Is it playing some sort of game? If it is, we're most certainly losing. Hell, we don't even know the rules. I can't even identify that device. That's very interesting. It sounds like the oldest house is openly malevolent when they first got here, and then it just decided it liked the cut of Northmore's jib and gave him Jeremy. Communications department. Uh, up there by dead letters. I'm curious. I didn't actually complete this kind last time, so I wanted to see if I could do it. 
I guess my problem was that by going in from the... They expected me to go in through the turntable, so by going into the elevator, I was just immediately surrounded by dudes. You know, rather than, oh, they've got a lot of, uh, like a... a like a firing line up ahead to, like, prevent me from getting down the corridor. No, they're right here. They're practically up your ass. department, so... Nothing. Straight this way. Oh, fuck. Excuse me. Fuck, where is it going? God damn, this thing moves quickly. Fucking level seven. Yes! Pretty. Oh, wow, my health. A reckoning has come for you. It looks really cool like this. Too late, I've killed some of your nodes. You're probably gonna get fired. Nice to know it does that when other people. Oh, it's just following me, okay. No, no, it was right the first time. Oh, well, thank you, friend. That was awesome. That was everything I hoped that would be. Only, uh, should be one left. Great. Ah, I can't fly up there. Like, at all. Oh! No, that side's open. My bad. I'm certain I've heard this one before. Oh, it's America Overnight. Sure, sure, sure. Uh... Right. Okay. Well, they were all in that one room, so they gotta be near that, at least. Oh, fuck. It's the camera. No, that's the dudes. I don't need to fight that. Yes, that was in this room. startled me. I hear explodey men. And he's healing again. Oh, fuck. 
I just realized that because he's healing again, that will drag out the duration of seas. Oh, fuck. My bad. And he's healed by now, anyway. Oh, that is a very potent ability right there. I have realized. Rest in peace, buddy. No! My friend! Oh god, oh god! Why are they so fast?! They are actually faster than me when I'm not sprinting now, and I don't like that at all. Aha! Ah! I can't fucking see anything! Okay. Oh, missed one. Look at that. How nice of them to have extras for me. Oh, God. No. Well, I still won. Ooh. All right, that will have to do it. At least this will take me back to a control point. I'm Burning Dog Face. And I will see you next time on Let's Play The Foundation, the DLC chapter for Control. We need to investigate the nail so that we can prevent our reality from falling into the astral plane. I didn't go to all the trouble to save the world from the hiss, just to watch the universe fall apart. Let's see where I spawn. Okay, yeah, that's fair. Alright, in that case, later.